Friends of Sydney Campinas are sharing their memories of the 21 year old who died in an apparent car accident over the weekend. Investigators found her vehicle Saturday afternoon off Lower Thomaston Road. Campinas was inside the car. Wanye Reese joins us live from Windsor Academy, where Sydney went to school, to tell us how her friends are remembering the young lady. Hey, Frank, I got a chance to speak to her friends this morning, and they say that they are remembering her as a bright light that truly never met a stranger. Now, understandably so, just like this community, a lot of people are still in shock, but they are hanging on to those memories that they have about those times they spent together. Taylor Osborne, Shannon Allen and Haley Mosley says it was the eighth grade when a young Sydney Compinus arrived at Windsor Academy. Yeah, she I'm could barely young. speak English. Yeah. yeah, she's from Miami, so they speak Spanish down there, so she can she could barely speak English. So we were all kind of like teaching her a little bit here and there. Her friends say it took Compinus some time to get used to the southern dialect while getting accustomed to Macon. Compinus decided to try out a new sport softball. We were in like a triangle, me, Taylor and Sydney, and um, I threw the ball to her and I could just see the fear <laughs> in her face. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think she's ever seen a softball <laughs> because it hit her right in the chest. Investigators say Compinus was last seen around 1 a.m. last Friday at the cookout in North Macon. So the night we found out she was missing, uh, I was a mess, but the day that, you know, I was found out it happened shortly before I was in touch with her family on the phone with her mom, her family in Miami. Her friends helped search for her, but investigators say Compinas' uncle found her body inside of her car crashed off of Lower Thomaston Road Saturday afternoon. It wasn't until I got on my phone and like I saw the notification and stuff where it came real and I just broke down and I couldn't believe that it actually happened to Sydney of all people. You know. Even though Compinas died, her friends are reminiscing about her positive spirit, love for her family, and ambition to be successful. Everything she had went into every day. You know, she loved hard, she laughed hard. Um, she just definitely lived her life to the fullest. And Sydney's mom says that she was working on going to school so she could become a nurse and she was currently working at Atrium Health Navicent. Now, when it comes down to the latest in the investigation, I spoke with BSO. They say that right now they are not suspecting foul play in this accident. As far as what led up to the accident, that is all still part of the investigation. Reporting live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Wanye. Windsor Academy will hold a celebration of Sydney's life this Thursday at 6 p.m. at the school.